Do you ever see it? Do you ever see the reflection of your eyes in your eyeglasses? I like my redness. I'm I must not have, because I, because I don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, now Maybe. you'll what did see you just it. Get? It looks did like it's get, dirty. Make, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so should we just talk? Yes. Okay. Okay. No, All right. I've got my little notebook. I mean, here. I'm going to put my book away. Yeah, I have a... I have a, I have a uh, I'm wondering if I should put my book away. I have a mental uh, note. Know, trust me. You want okay. to be on camera with a book? <laughs> I know. With the books behind but then you. I, but, then I gonna, wonder, but then I wonder if it's there's endearing. There's already two of us and one of you. I wonder you. if it's endearing, yeah, though, you know? I mean, uh, if there's already I two of us. You don't want to look like the guy who's interviewing. To. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have the book, too, oh, then okay. it's, well, it's dueling. Well, one second, I have. So we could just talk, right? Yeah, could, but I'm just wondering about how we're going to um, structure this. Well, I'll start it off. No, no, no. Why do you mean let's start it off? I, just, I wanted to bring up something that I love. Why don't we just do that? Talk about what yeah. we like. Yeah, I have anxiety with the talk too, though, because I wonder—is this going to be like us yelling over each other? Yes, that's as okay. it always have. It, it, it's <laughs> always no, this stuff was really hard to see for a very long really time. Really hard to find. And it would pop up. Uh, you know, when YouTube came about. These Big things started to pop up. Big Shave was around. Italian American yes, were on the those, same VHS. I agree with oh, you. Okay. Those two were yeah. the ones you could see. Yeah. But American, American Boy, Boy was hard to find. Was hard to really see. Hard to find. Yeah. Uh, it popped up on YouTube like a bunch, and then would get taken down. Uh, and the quality was always so terrible. So it was nice to watch these things and like f their full fidelity. Trying to see him like um, work through ideas, you know? Like I guess that's always kind of cool when you see the short films of somebody, which is those early ones. You see Scorsese trying to figure out. It's illuminating to see these documentaries yeah. and think back on these films and realize just how much comes from his his world. He's always been a personal filmmaker. He's always moving into these spaces that like were obviously very important to him. Italian American is up there with Penny Baker's films, Wiseman, the way that Maisel's he, yeah. Brothers, the subjective documentary. It's telling with love the details. That one moment in Italian American when it pans over to the father yeah. and he's like picking his teeth. The husband's like what are you doing? Like, talk how you normally talk. Yeah. And as you see, that's about the end of it. Cover she's off. trying to put on. I don't know why. She should talk natural, the way she did what? does now. When she puts on. And she's like, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "Talk as if you're just talking to me." And he's like, "There's a whole breakdown of what performance is." Oh yeah. And I'm like, "This is unbelievable." I don't know what you mean, Charlie. Talk the way you're talking to me now. That's what I mean. She breaks and she goes to the kitchen yeah. because she's upset about how how free he was. That sauce, I want to stir the sauce. We have no relationship with seeing your parents together. Yeah. So that's actually a really beautiful detail that the mom is very quick at the beginning. Like, see when I sit yeah, down, sit he moves over. Why are you so far from me? Come okay. Right, Get so closer. What are we going to say to each other even, after 40 years? I can't even <laughs> imagine our parents sitting next to one another. So it's a very, um, if anything, it's a conscious decision to like. It's just a very. Separate. It's a, it, that's it. That's more like it. So it's fascinating that he chose to put his mother in all of his films. She's in his films through his career yeah. until she's until she passes. Yeah. She's in Goodfellas. Yeah. She's in Casino. Yeah. She's in Camp Comedy, but off screen. Yeah. She especially shows up when he returns to that world. Mm -hmm. His mother has the inability to get out of her own way in a beautiful way. She's such a persona. Yeah. Uh, and and his dad is his dad's fascinating. The way he talks, he feels the camera, and he's always kind of like this. My 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 mother was a. She was a real whip. And it's interesting to kind of see I that difference, yeah. you know? But his dad's also persona, but not in the performative way. No. And she, Catherine no. is, and that's why she's He's corrective. Yes. He's, He's correcting her exactly. performance yes. and saying, like, just, yeah, just stop putting yourself. on air. Talk, stop putting on air. Talk to me like, talk, talk like you talk to me. Yeah, stop putting on. The thing is that you talk natural. Don't try to put on I'm that not, you, you're not an actress. I'm not putting on any airs. One of my favorite sequences in all of Scorsese in Raging Bull, mm -hmm. them getting married, the oh, happy oh, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have that beautiful, beautiful home movie montage, yeah, yeah, the rooftop, rooftop yeah, but yeah, them getting yeah, married yeah. and feeding each other cake. For sure, yeah. He might not have done that if he hadn't made Italian American. The importance that storytelling held in his family yeah. uh, is the reason why we have him. You know what I mean? And then that, in particular, the way she tells that fig tree story. It's a Scorsese movie, you know what I mean? It makes me emotional thinking about it. I remember one time we had a fig tree. I used to love fig trees, and my mother couldn't stand them. That's radical when he yeah. freezes on his mother. And that was that. And, and, then it, and then you come back. right back. Yeah, yeah. Comes right back. <laughs> now that's enough for today, Marty. You're almost expecting, yeah, yeah. like, uh, you uh, know, in memoriam. Her name to come up. Yeah, yeah, in memoriam. memoriam yeah. And then it cuts out, and yeah. it's not done yet, which is really playful. Yeah. That's good. That moment when it cuts back is the cursed Dami moment. The taste of cherries, you yeah. know what I mean? If he's showing you 
that she's the same way. When yeah. the cameras are off, yeah. she's still the same way. Is he still taking this? There's a performance, but the inner self is always the same. Yes. You know, like yes. That still comes across. I think it's to underscore reality and what is reality. Yeah. And are these movies just movies or are they life? Are they something beyond movies? And, and what is storytelling? He's, yeah. still, cha he's still chasing okay. that. Scorsese is uh, fraught with anxiety. You know what I mean? He's like a he's like an honorary Jew. In yeah. What's a Nice Girl, you really get the sense of like this young man looking out towards life, feeling this uh, anxiety. But this time, I didn't panic. I remember what my analyst told me. If you really want help, you must help yourself. You gotta fight it. You gotta hit it hard in the guts. Just like this idea of like, you're gonna be with this woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the, the, um, the impossibilities that exist within uh, a relationship of love, you know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. For the first day and a half of the party, it was like that. And then, there she was. This guy is already, like, oh, yeah. just, like, bursting brimming at the with seams. Life. Brimming, brimming with but, life. But yeah, also yeah, bursting yeah. at the seams yeah. with all these, like, tools that he wants to yeah. use and all these, like, different ways to express something, you know. He's playing with like experimental animation, with like the apartment being built up, oh, that's you know, right. piece yeah. by piece. And what's the, who's that? What's that girl? Nice girl. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, Benny's I'm, trying to give some I sound. I see the sound. It's you need to move it in. Yeah, but they got the I wire. Don't, I don't. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I saw it. I, I saw <laughs> don't her. Listen don't, listen don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Sorry. Okay. It's, uh, I, uh, yeah, you guys all right? How's it going? Are you guys good? He's playing with like experimental animation, with like the apartment being built up. All I needed was a little fixing up, so I fixed it up. He's pulling from La Jete mm -hmm. with the stills, you know, the freeze uh -huh. frames. If you take a photograph from life and you put it in a movie, it almost makes it feel like you're seeing the reality that you're not actually getting to see in the documentary sense. These early shorts, I see more Truffaut. I see especially yeah. Shoot the Piano Player. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm a writer. My name's Algernon, but my friends call me Harry. I never saw but Truffaut in his filmmaking until these. Uh, when he starts writing, there's that push in yeah. shot that moves in. And, and the way that he had the actor adjust, stand up and adjust the typewriter in kind of a, mm -hmm. an excited, neurotic way, that's personal expression. Yeah. Where are you, Harry? Life is fraught with terror! Like, but it's also the virtuosity, like, married mm -hmm. to yes. that, that personal thing. We even had our honeymoon at the New York World's Fair. Unfortunately, it was still under construction. The greatest part of that entire, uh, Short is the World's Fair photograph. That's unbelievable. The, yeah. the, 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 the <laughs> really made me think of Pierre Tay. The, too. the, the, the yeah. knowledge of knowing that it's under that it's still under construction and going out there. Talk about the Big Shave for its a its formalism. Oh my God! First of all, no, no, no. the special effects are very well done. It's so composed. You know what I mean? Oh, it's so the beginning, all of the inserts, the little move of the from the mirror when yeah. it opens up the thing to pull all out. All of the inserts, and, of the faucet dripping and, yes. then, and, and then hitting the. Uh, that's that's yes. You know, you're, that's a great thing to bring up because yeah. that's what separates that though that montage of cuts from being generic to being yeah. nuanced and just being static, right? Yeah. It's it, you but, have but the you drip continuity. Yeah. You also see Thinking his obsession that. with uh, with ritual and process, for yeah. sure. which, by the way, you see in the other shorts as well. Yeah, you, and um, you see it in you see it in American Boy at the you end. You see it in yeah. every movie he's ever made. This is a very specific. How do I get like these insert shots of these beautiful, these beautiful things where like when the water hits the the shaving cream on the razor, but it doesn't necessarily get it all off at first. You also see as an exercise, he's thinking about okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take on something really banal, really yeah. mundane, and I'm gonna see how I can mm -hmm. shoot this in a way that's compelling. Great yeah. point. Which again is like you know who? Well, it's, you can see he's, nobody does shot yeah. lists the way he does. That right. last shot with the blood dripping onto the torso, the chest. Yeah, yeah. Totally. That's from Raging Bull. I, I, that yeah. shot of the sweat I, yeah. and the water yeah, totally. going down his chest and the torso. Totally. It's the same exact yeah. Yeah. framing. When I saw that short for the first time, when you get your hands on it, you don't. Obviously, we're well past. Nam, right? You have to remember that movie in context. You know what I mean? Young men mutil being mut self mutilating and things like that in the context of Nam. I mean, he says at the end of the thing, it's, I think it says Viet 67 or something like that, right? Scorsese says he's never going to be like a political filmmaker because he's, I just believe he's 
bigger than that if he has their po the politics are sewn in through the, the yeah. character and that's what is so beautiful they're about peripheral. Yeah. yeah they're so beautiful about that movie is it's really just a like a hammer film you know what I mean it's really just yeah. like a like a gore movie very simple movie about men waking up obviously I don't do it and shaving but there you is, know what I mean like and, and when taking a layer of your skin off well, every time you do it. The film that I'd never seen in this batch was uh, It's Not Just You, it's, it's Not Just You, Murray. Oh, that one's amazing. Yeah, and It's Not Just You, Murray, you see the, uh, you know, there's that, like, single-take handheld mm -hmm. fight scene, which which is the same fight scene in Mean Streets. That's and cops a, break in. from a blocking standpoint? Oh, it's amazing. It's so How alive. How old is he? He's 20 years old. He's doing that? The energy is there right away. Events happen in life. They take a turn. And in the course of business, there occurred uh, this event, a misunderstanding. What he's doing with the fourth wall and yeah. what he's doing with, with direct address, all of it is to like underscore process and mm -hmm. style mm -hmm. and technique. See this tie? You're seeing him really just like dying to get all these things off of his chest. And you're seeing movies that come later. No, no, stop the camera, just cut, cut, cut what I'm doing. Because right. I, want, I, want, I want it to be. <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. The direct course. address, yeah. which he uses oh. in Goodfellas. It is the exact sequence that he later shows in Goodfellas. We were always together. Yeah. And you get the photo montage. Everything we did, we did together. Joe and me. Friendship, love, life, family. Yeah. Again, you're getting this thing that's like, the world that he's creating extends way beyond what you can capture in a movie. So let's show you snapshots from the life beyond the movie. And then, then he breaks into, into eight and a half. And then you also, also have like a movement right, with like, the dancing which is totally. so weird. You have that movement where he, when he gets into the car and it goes like, it pushes in onto the back of the car in a dolly and then he opens the door, opens the seat and then the camera gets in the back of the seat. And it's like, oh, oh my God, yeah. it's just such an, yeah. like it's at the same time, it's very formal, but it's very personal. And that's my friend, my pal. Joe. Hi, I'm Joe. It's a whole the wire divider. This, in this little movie, it was like this whole... And more than anything, you see his gift for montage, like right totally. away. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. breathless, it's so energetic, because you see like New York, New York, and like uh -huh, the uh -huh. the, uh, the Busby Berkeley like dance oh, sequence, yeah. you see... Uh, I love that. My favorite is when it cuts to the TV. Oh, yeah. It's all overexposed. Yeah. You're talking about the the trial? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when it first cuts... That's that, Goodfellas you... again. It's when Goodfellas again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's... Well, Irishman is also the... the the narration that like you can't rely on, uh -huh. where like yeah, the guy's yeah, like, yeah. like, I don't know what really happened, you know. What followed that was the fostering of one of the greatest financial syndicates in America. Um, oh, motel chains have been affected by us. The narrator is sort of like discrediting what we're seeing, uh -huh. which he did, which he's done his entire career, totally. and especially in The Irishman. Yeah. All of his techniques, you see like what he's. Oops, sorry. Hey, we were in a groove. We were in a groove. Uh -oh. I saw some commotion and I was like, I think there's a problem. There's a problem. No, I don't your, think. Your sweater is swallowing the mic. There you go. So the, okay. the thing well, is, hold on, hold on. Do you know what I um, what I loved seeing? Did you guys look at the uh, credits closely? Did you see where and and who recorded the music? No. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a junior high orchestra. There's a handmade quality to it. Which you get is very from. new wave. Because yeah. It's, yes, it's, like, sure. it's, it's really can, embracing. You can see yeah. the seams. Yeah. The yeah. seams. Well, look at it this way. All right, cut the sound. Come, Mary, come over here a minute, will you? Cut the sound. So the kids look like... Cut right. the sound! You, there, with the glasses! It's cut so alive. To me, I'll cut. see the hybrid between it's not just you and the big shave as this kind of like... You smash them together and you have the voice, you know. Yeah. The and the humor. And the humor, yeah. exactly. The well, playfulness, the yeah. Oh, completely. Speaking of the secret nature of these movies, specifically American Boy, and how you couldn't see it, he didn't make it for any other yeah. purpose but to document. Well, that's true, you know yeah. what I mean? We get to have American Boy because of that supremely memorable scene where he's buying the gun. Yep. in Taxi Driver, which the first time you see Taxi Driver, all of the faces and the personalities that might not feel uh, like professionals make the quote-unquote professionals feel so of the life and of the street. Yeah. So yeah. that you have, like that, but that scene in particular, 
the specificity and the authority that that Steve Prince has in that scene. Especially at the end where he's like, what else you want? What yeah, else can yeah, I get? Yeah. <laughs> what I also love about watching Italian American and then American boy, if you watch them right after each other, there's a little bit there's a little sense of the son with the parents and then going to hang out with the friends afterwards. Yeah, no, yeah. That's like a little bit like. <laughs> with American Boy, what I see is I see Cassavetes. You give up. All right. I yeah. see it, the opening is like faces. It oh feels God, like faces. Cool. It yeah. feels like faces. The fight scene yeah. when they first come in. Well, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. There's a familiarity when that door opens. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and what but I it's love. It's staged too. You, it's you, of course you yeah, can tell Scorsese's like, but, but, but to but, a certain but, extent. No, no, no. To a certain extent, it's yeah. staged, and then it gets it, way out of hand. Well, oh yeah, my God, when you ask two people to fight, yes, you can't. And help you have it. a guy like yeah. Stephen Prince who is who just who's. himself. That's yeah. what's amazing about Italian American and American Boy, is they're capturing these people mm -hmm. who can't avoid being themselves. Well, I think now that both of you are here, we could tell some stories. This man has been has been told, come over and tell your stories. Mm -hmm. Clearly, yeah. Scorsese has, oh, he's got them he's all got, written down. He has them written down. Yeah, there's something here about sailing, about an alcoholic skipper and a pitcher. And you see them appear in so many of his later films. Oh my God. And then Pulp Fiction, well, then Pulp Fiction yes, got the... For sure. This girl uh, once OD'd on us. And he looked at me and he says, well, you're gonna have to give her an adrenaline shot. I said, what are you talking about? That, that is like verbatim. I know, what is yeah. stabbing motion? Yeah. Stabbing, stabbing motion. motion. <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> same one. It, after a while, I had five guys working for me. What's interesting about the chapter breaks on a meta level is that Stephen Prince is a guy with chapter breaks. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? You could be chilling with him. He'll zone out. What did he call what? What did you, what did you call your bagel business? Hot bagels. Hot bagels. <laughs> the beginning of the doc, He's surrounded by people. He's holding court. Yeah. He's the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, then yeah. towards the end, people left. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's that, alone, and there's a sadness when he's alone, and he's telling these stories. Story. Oh that electrocution story. The electrocution story. Oh God. Him That's blowing the guy I, away. Yeah, it's but the like, electrocution. The cop story. Are, the, the, yeah. the electrocution one took me so by storm because the way Why'd you shoot him six times? At first, it's so. Yeah, it's Why'd you shoot him six times? I say that if the kid didn't have, you know, the the hose in the first place. And he. Dropped one cable into the fence, and he dropped the other cable into the uh, oh, no. into the water. No, it's the way that Scorsese you know puts it's, himself it's, in it's it. Touching, he's totally it's touching. in it, and he's driving it forward. But then at the same time, there's like little things like, oh, reminder to the editor, like let's edit that out. Oh, I, we, better, we better cut that out. Note to the editor. We better cut that out because we'll blow the ending in there. Yeah, doesn't yeah. get edited out, you know. But then you forget. In my mind, sorry. In, I hit the. In my mind, it's when he when he tells the. Um, in my mind, it's when he tells the. Uh, don't do this? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. We struggle with it all the time. It's like, what makes something real, you know? And it's mm -hmm. like, he's doing so many things, they're telling you it's not real. The ble the bloop, you know, there's like the, all this, the, the kind of... The bloop the slate sinking. is amazing. Bloop, have you ever yeah. used a bloop slate? No. So, it appears, it appears. But including all that stuff in it, what that does about like, okay, I'm watching something that's been crafted, edited, all of this stuff, but then at the same time, things flow so freely, and you don't know what is real, but then at the same time, the performance kicks in, and that you are won over by the people. It took me about a minute to get to the generator truck before I could hit the switch off. What happened? He fried. Oh, he's dead? Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. He died. Yeah. When you live a fast life, you know what I mean? And, and I've gone through phases of speeds of life, whatever. You start to experience these, these kind of melodramas of life in kind of fast ways. And that's the first time in that doc where he, Slows, where he yeah. gets into death. That's the first time death is, is brought up. And his experience of seeing death, he, you, yeah. it's very vivid. And when he talks about he fried, he feels a sense of guilt about it. Yeah. Uh, but then later, when he talks about shooting that dude in the yeah. station, the guy yeah. station, well, no, like, what? Just as he's about to put this thing and I, I, I go, hey, <laughs> you! The guy turns around. He's half Indian, he's half Mexican. He was zonked out of his mind on speed. <laughs> That's something I actually rewound a bunch of times to see how in the hell he did it. Yeah. When he's telling you the story, I, I turned, nothing. I 
right. And then he turns yeah. around. He's got the gun. And then he's got the oh, gun got all the of gun. a sudden. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. where did that come from? Yeah. A, yeah, 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 just yeah. from a performance standpoint. Yeah. Where I didn't see it anywhere. Yeah. The seventies, <laughs> the seventies shag quality to the atmosphere is very. Um, it adds the to the storytelling. That whole apartment is. There's a sleaze to that to that house. You've got that high fi behind it. Them in the beginning. Yes. The hot tub thing is amazing. Not bad. Not at all. Could you go over to that side, please? Oh, uh, certainly. Woo! <laughs> in both of those, you get, just in these simple shots, you get oh, a total Stephen understanding Prince, of so where much. they are. What I want to do, I want to, do, I want to ask you about your father again on the last telephone call again. It seemed very matter of fact. It just seemed a little too objective to me. I don't know. It just seemed... He's studying performance. Like, oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. that's what he's doing. Well, of course, there's the that ending incredible ending the where he gets in to retell the story. Three times. Yeah. yeah. And finally, to get at it. So. Your parents, your parents' reaction, your father. My mother's reaction is that she's very happy at what I'm doing here. Scorsese's like a little, he's neurotic. He yeah. wants to go close the door. Yeah. Oh, wait, and he's sitting do down, he's like, well, you, you, yeah. you, spilled, on the, you spilled coke on the thing, because he's making a film. Yeah. And he's always him. directing him, even yes. in the way yes. that he's like, he's being yes. natural, because yeah. he can't be natural. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. he's talking to the camera. Yeah, he... Did anybody talk to you about it or say anything? Yeah, I, uh, I spoke to him a couple of times about it. One moment where his friend is trying to tell him, like, oh, well, did you ever say anything to him about, like, his drugs? He's like, oh, yeah, of course, he said something. And then he turns to him and he's like, I said to him, what, are you crazy? Are you out of your fucking mind? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Scorsese can tell this guy's getting a little too into it. He's taking the stage and he touches him. He puts his hand on his leg. And Stephen says to me... And the guy kind of feels it and then moves on. I mean, you just get... Higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. When you study people as as intensely as Scorsese has, you know how to direct people, even if it's real life. You know what I mean? You know how to direct a moment and uh, even him encouraging him, laughing and just pushing the story along. It's it's very much like just he's it's manipulation. You see why Scorsese was like was so in love with him. So in love with him. In love with him. Because they're the same. She was just a real Russian Jew. She used to teach advanced ball busting 302, and uh, that's why you feel the connection between. Scorsese's and him and the cameo of the, yeah. in Taxi Driver and, and the buying of the gun, they feel like two peas from the same like, pod. Yes, he would have yes. coming out Although of... his character in Taxi Driver is missing Prince's humanity. Yes, because, yes. Oh my, because the thing about Prince is like, yeah. you're hearing these stories and you're like, oh, this guy's a sociopath, yes. but I love him. Yes. Yes. You know, I don't think he knows, knows what's right and wrong. He knows what's right and I mean, wrong. I don't no, think he's a sociopath. No, you're right. What's amazing but. is that these stories are so crazy, but they don't feel embellished. No. Like, he's telling the story so well, but, but, he doesn't seem like an embellisher, but, you're right. Yeah, he doesn't seem no. like an yeah. embellisher. It, ju- it just feels like he's a magnet for, like, yeah. <laughs> in- the, insane I, the shit. Thing... 72 hours, I was running around like a, ma- a maniac. How much did you take? Uh, as much as he gave me. <laughs> there are certain people, if they can get yeah, he's through lucid. the war. He's really lucid. If they yeah. can get through the war, and I'm talking about the war against yourself, and survive, he'll never yeah. die. Yeah. He'll never die. And now with that movie, he's never going to die. <laughs> This is good, right? Is this good, Susan? Is this okay? Is this good? Am I okay. am I yelling a lot? We're all yelling. I'm okay. I'm good. Every one of you know, every Scorsese movie it's, is a touching portrait. He tells yeah. all the stories with great warmth. He's not a cynical person. It's not just about the movie for Scorsese. It's about the world in general. It's about you know capturing life. It's not just about the movie. It's yeah. about the people. But it's the also place. about documentation. The place. But, He's yeah. a maximalist, like the greatest maximalist we have. You see the exactly. Cassavetes like colliding yes. with, yeah. with yes. fools and with and with you know with people who. It, it's usually either or, right? If you take all of these together, because they're different. You know, there's like the shorts are much later. They're later than the other ones or the documentaries. But if you mix them all together. You can see all of the like the ingredients of like the sauce, you know, and like in yeah. some way, there's the performance, there's the style here, there's characters, there's narration. You can kind of see it all mixed together to create the building blocks for what he does in his movies. He How? has the vocabulary, but yes. he doesn't have the stories. Yet. Exactly. Yeah. That's it's, why when you mix in yeah. the documentaries, well, the sto- the you story, get it all. You know. Yeah. All right. I think we're good, right? Um, I'm, I'm just feeling. I'm like I can tell. I'm hitting a wall right now. No uh, can we just have thirty seconds of room time? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, Susan.